Bloodthaws, thank you so much for stopping by my channel today. I usually do um, love the products that I get and it doesn't happen to happen too often that I buy something that I absolutely don't like because um, I do a lot of research on them and everything before I get them. But I believe that there is a need for a review of this brush because there's like so many people love this brush which is the Sonia Kashuk um, hair brush and so many people love it and I guess there's some things to like about it but I really want to give you my opinion of how my life has been with this brush so if you would like to see then keep on watching. So there's good things and terrible things with this brush and I will go through the good things first. The first thing is that it does feel it's very light and then the construction is pretty good. I haven't had any like fallout of any of the boar bristles or anything like that. And then it does feel like it does um, like grab onto your hair pretty good. So the cosmetic part of the brush, so just like looking at it and stuff is pretty nice. And then this brush retails for about $16 plus taxes, at least at my Target it did. But, and by the way, you can get this at Target. <laughs> it's from the Sonia Kashuk line. But um, this brush does resemble that extremely expensive $250 Mason Pearson brush, which you can find online, I believe. I think, I don't know. I don't even, I wouldn't even care because it's a $250 brush. And basically, I, I, like, I've seen, like, a friend of mine has one and, you know, you can't, like, I saw it and I thought it was the Sonia Castro brush. Like they basically look the same. And the other one even has this like bottom thing. So if you would like it for the look so that people think that you have a $250 brush, then you can definitely get this and it will definitely do the job for you. So I guess that's a plus that it looks like a counter part of an extremely expensive brush. if. You would like to see it that way so I guess it does have like that luxury um, like points towards it but now into the cons okay I kind of deserve this because even though everyone loves this brush I know and you would know from your physics class that the bristles when they're plastic and I have mentioned this before but I think it's really important to mention it again because for like I ended up buying this brush anyway so plastic bristles basically take electrons off your hair. What it does is that you have your hair perfectly fine like this and then I just want you to see what happens you see how it like totally doesn't look that fantastic anymore and it kind of looks frizzy right there so and I knew this but the reason why I still got this brush is because um, I don't know, you know, I think so many people love it, it must have something that defies the laws of physics because of something, I don't know, so I just thought that it might, <laughs> for some reason, defy the laws of physics and not make your hair frizzy like this, <laughs> but it doesn't defy the laws of physics, it absolutely makes your hair frizzy because of, um, of the materials they use. So if this wasn't plastic and this was an old boar bristle brush, then it would be totally fine. It looks beautiful, in my opinion. I think it's very pretty. And I think there will used to be a gold version, I think. I, like, I'm pretty sure I've seen one. Um, they didn't have any at my Target and I didn't see any online. But like, how cute would a gold like hairbrush be and also I think this is pretty beautiful and again it looks just like the Mason Pearson brush but if you really care about your hair more and what it does for your hair then I don't recommend you get this at all just save yourself the $16 and go to Sephora or <laughs> to somewhere else and get yourself a <laughs> boar bristle brush preferably that has um, like a wooden that it's into like wood or something. I saw a couple of them at my local TJ Maxx and I didn't get any because I hadn't tried this one and I was like no my I have a super like hairbrush with magic powers that defies the laws of physics. 
at my house. So why am I gonna get this boar bristle brush on a wooden handle? Like that makes no sense. But actually, yeah, it did. It would have been a good idea. If you just want like a pretty brush like this, then you can definitely get it. You know, it's $16, which maybe it doesn't matter too much to you. But if you're looking for a hair for a hairbrush that's gonna make your hair beautiful, then this is not it. It's just gonna make it really staticky and frizzy. So especially staticky more than anything else so you don't really you know you never want that here you see how like this hair is so behaving so much better than this one so just in general remember that whenever you're buying a hairbrush just look for something just look for boar bristles no nylon no plastic because that's really going to like make your hair really staticky Especially right now that it's like winter time, <laughs> how your hair just sticks to everything. You really don't want to use something like this or like however, you know, plastic hairbrush that you have. So yeah, just whenever you're buying a hairbrush, just go for boar bristles. They're so much better for your hair. They're not gonna fill it up with staticiness and they're gonna keep your hair, hair gorgeous and beautiful so thank you so much for watching if you don't follow me on twitter or instagram yet then please go follow me and if you're not subscribed to this channel then please subscribe you just have to click on the red button over here that says subscribe and i will see you guys tomorrow bye